Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's VR News. This week we'll be going over the new Logitech Chorus release, plus some interesting news on Meta's Horizon World. We also have quite a lot of game releases this week to look at, but with all that out of the way, let's get into it. Let's start with the Logitech Chorus. This week, the Logitech Chorus was revealed for the Quest 2. The Chorus is essentially a more portable version of headphones for your Quest. The speakers aren't wireless and do have to be connected to the headset. Fortunately, the wires neatly wrap around the Quest strap, making it so that they are barely noticeable when playing. So, if the standard Quest 2 speakers just wasn't enough for you, then the Logitech Chorus is great to enhance the audio immersion of the experience. So if you want to immerse yourself even more, you can pre-order the Chorus now for a hefty $89.99 on their website. Right, now let's talk about Meta's Horizon Worlds. You all already know about Meta's Horizon Worlds with their awful and somewhat creepy looking avatars. Well, Zuckerberg himself told everyone to expect a big update on the graphics in Horizon Worlds, including improved avatars. While these new avatars are a big improvement to what we currently have, I still feel like it's staring into my soul. Anyway, anyway. Have any of you even tried Horizon Worlds yet? I still need to give it a go. If you have played Horizon Worlds, comment down below. I would love to hear your experience on the game. Now while I was recording this, I just heard some big news. PlayStation have just tweeted that the official release for the PSVR 2 is 2023. Now it says early 2023. I don't know if this means around quarter 1 or quarter 2. I'm guessing it's before the halfway point. But we should expect to see it very soon. Let's move on to our games this week. We have quite a few, but let's start off with Ultimax. This game was actually announced last year. It's basically Rocket League with mechs in VR. Sounds pretty cool, right? We've had quite a few Rocket League spin-offs in VR recently, like the Quest exclusive Nog. However, unlike Nog, Ultimax will be available on PC VR, Quest, and even Pico headsets. But the best part about Ultimax is, it's completely free to play. So you can shoot goals in your lovely mech for absolutely free. The pre-season preview weekend actually starts this weekend from the 25th to the 28th of August. You can sign up for it now to make sure you have access to it when it releases. Next up, we have an official release date for Townscapers VR. This relaxing city builder will be releasing on October 6th on the Quest and Pico platforms. We've been seeing Pico mentioned in a lot of game releases lately, which is good news for the Pico 4 headset which is releasing very soon. Now here we have some big news involving Red Matter. Remember that VR puzzle game in space? Well the sequel to that game has finally released on PC VR and Quest platforms. This time around it pushes the graphics for the Quest 2 to the furthest it's ever gone. So much so that it looks as equally stunning as the PC version. If you were a fan of the first game, then you can finally continue the story in space in this amazing sequel. Last but probably least is Altair Breaker. Now, I don't know if anyone really had high expectations or any expectations. If they did, then they were surely broken when this game released. From the developers of Swords of Gargantua, the game that got shut down for everyone just a couple years after it released. Now, I don't mean to tear into this game without even playing it, but from what I've seen, people do not really like it, and especially for the price, it's just not worth it. People are also holding off on the game because they're concerned it will end up like Swords of Gargantua. But if you enjoy waving your arms around at enemies for hours, then this is probably the game for you. However, you probably have two or three years before they shut this one down too. 